Hello friends, so let's talk about the 80-20 rule or Pareto principle. Do you ever feel like you are consistently busy but never getting enough done? Do you find yourself putting in countless hours but feeling like you're missing out on those big results? Well, there's a simple concept called the 80-20 rule that might just change all that. The 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, states that roughly 80% of the results you achieve come from only 20% of your efforts. That means the majority of what you do has a very small impact on your goals. Okay, so the, the majority of what you do has a very small impact on your goal on your goals so why is 80 20 rule important so the 80 20 rule highlights the importance of focusing on the few key factors that yield the most significant results rather than spreading attention evenly is guiding principle for maximizing efficiency and productivity by prioritizing prioritizing efforts where they matter most. By understanding these rules, it will help you prioritize, it helps you laser focus on the tasks and activities that have the highest potential to drive big results, and it allowing you to eliminate the important money that just waste your time. So how to put the 80-20 rule into action? Here are three steps to put the 80-20 rule into action. So the first is to analyze your work and life. What are the few tasks that consistently bring you the most value and outcomes? Analyze your tasks by looking at their impact on achieving your goals. For example, project completed, sales generated, client satisfaction and you may find that 20% of your tasks for example building key uh, client relationships preparing high impact presentations contribute to 80% of your work's value or you may see 20% of your customer produce 80% of your net in income okay and next you push those 20% tasks at the top of your list Give them your energy, focus, and best time of the day. And schedule these high impact tasks for your most focused and productive time of day. Dedicate your full attention and energy to completing them effectively. And finally, you can other things be delegated or removed entirely, freeing uh, up your time. For your top 20% is essential, delegate, delegate less critical tasks to college or outsource them if feasible. Consider eliminating low impact activities that contribute minimally to your overall goals, freeing up time for your vital few. Okay, okay so here's an example. To identify and uh, identifying and addressing the most significant defects using a Pareto chart. Okay, so a manufacturing company aims to improve product quality by identifying and addressing the most significant defects using a Pareto chart. So here are the step by step we need to do. We need to follow. We collect the data on product defects observed during a specific time period. This data should include information on the type of defect and the frequency of occurrence. And then we categorize the defect into different types of or categories. This, this could include issues such as manufacturing, the uh, manufacturing defect, design flaws, material defect, etc. Then we count the number of occurrence for each defect category during the specified time period. 
and then create a parental chart with defect categories on the x axis and their uh, uh, respective frequencies or counts on the y axis. We plot the uh, cumulative percentage of defects on a secondary uh, y axis and then we identify the vital few defect categories that contribute to approximately 80% of the total defects. These are defect categories to prioritize for improvement efforts based on the ST20 rule. And finally, we conduct a root cause analysis to understand the underlying reasons for the vital few defects. We implement corrective and preventive actions to address the root causes and reduce the occurrence of, the, of this defect. Okay, so suppose a manufacturing company produces electronic components and it has been experiencing various defects during the production process. After collecting data on defects observed over a month, the following defect categories and their frequency are identified. Manufacturing defects, 120 occurrence, design flaws, 80, material defects, 50, assembly errors, 30, packaging issues, 20. Okay, so now let's create a Pareto chart. So what, what, what do you see? So in this Pareto chart, defect categories are represented on the x axis and their, uh, their frequencies are represented on the primary y axis. The com, uh, cumulative percentage of defects is a presented on the secondary y axis. From the chart, it's evident that manufacturing defects are design uh, are design flaw together <coughs> manufacturing defect and design flaw design flaws together contribute uh, up, approximately uh, 60 percent uh, 60 percent of the total defects indicating that they are the vital few defect categories according to the 8020 rule the manufacturing company can focus its improvement efforts on addressing the root causes of this defect to enhance product quality. Okay, so the AT20 rule is your superpower. So let's, let's work smarter, not harder, and focus on one, the vital few actions that drive the biggest impact in your life and work. So are you ready to maximize your impact using uh, the AT20 rule? Okay, start by identifying your top 20% task today. Thank you for your listening. In the next lesson, we will know how to create a Pareto chart in Excel.